We're back. We're wanted. We're so so hungry. And this time we're not just hungry. We are craving. Cravings are just about satisfying a memory. It's like an itch that you can't quite scratch. If you want to explore your deepest, darkest, sweetest, tastiest food dreams, here's food to drive you mad. Because we know our food, and this time we let nothing stand between us and the best places to go to when you get that craving. Everybody, everybody, everybody's looking. It's time to go mad. Food mad. Everybody's looking. This is the place to come to if you're craving biryani. Even when I think about this food, it's like my mouth starts watering, you know. I like spicy biryani and it has to be non-veg. I don't like my biryani with a lot of fuss, no kaju, no jaifal. I specially come to Meghna biryani for the boneless chicken biryani. I prefer Hyderabad biryani because it is mouth watering and it's an addictive guest. Has to be a simple plain hardcore biryani. Kabhi 400 plate, kabhi 500 plate, kabhi 1000 plate hi bante hain. Biryani to hai hi. last four years every weekend almost myself and my wife we keep coming here this place is just awesome i took a day off and with my friends i came here to have biryani with friends me so many times i am here but lekin aaj main am apni wife ke sath yahan par kyunki i love my wife and i love the dish ek super special veg biryani <laughs> yeah veg biryani jaisi koi cheez nahi hoti veg biryani jo hoti hai usse pulao kaha jata hai pulao 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 aur ek veg pulao ha ab theek hai much better hmm. and as you can see Over the hundred years that Kareem's has been in operation in Old Delhi, things have changed rapidly. In fact, now they have technological advances. But some things haven't changed. No respect for the vegetarians. We're not even we're not even allowed to call a beautiful, wonderful, flavorful rice dish a biryani. We still have to call it a pulao. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. When you come to Old Delhi, you come to Gate Number One of Jama Masjid, and you walk down into the lane opposite, you will come across two stalwarts. One, of course, is the mighty Al Jawahar. that does a whole lot of fancy stuff and the other one in a small lane called gali kebabiyan that comes off the road you will find this enclosure and this place is a must come to if you're craving biryani and talking about biryani there it is sab ek minute zara biryani shukriya shukriya aur pulao aha shukriya shukriya Now keep in mind that the chef who started kareem's belongs to the dynasty of the chefs that served the mughal emperors and the flavors here remain unchanged over more than a century mughal emperors mughal emperors mughal emperors no wonder every time i come here it feels like i'm coming home like i've been here before there's a sense of familiarity i can see the mughal emperors turning in their graves right now vegetarian saab aapke liye haleem biryani aur kofta curry mangwai hai hum vegetarian hain hamare liye bhutta aur saag mangwa dijiye sir please eat your pulao The culture of Delhi is a heavy biryani oriented culture and this is a whole meal in itself. So if you want a solution, a one-stop shop to all your cravings for rice, chicken, flavor, spice, onions, green chili, the biryani at Kareem's has got it all. Yes sir, please ask sir, me. While you are in your phase of being really knowledgeable, I have a question about the Kareem biryani. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken actually gets cooked first. Okay, and then the egg comes. Then this is the wonderful part about being food mad. Now we put this theory to rest forever, that the chicken comes before the egg. And now you're going to get a lot of knowledgeable information on the pulao. Basically, you take rice, really nice quality, and you mix it with a whole bunch of vegetables, potatoes, peas, carrots. It's a great pulao, but that's not what Kareem is known for. If you want great vegetarian food, there's lots of other places. Come here just for the company. For the company, and if you're okay, go back. Uh, sorry, please come back, come back. If you're a pretty-looking boy like my friend Mayur over here, 
you will hear this a lot in old delhi knock knock who there chicken chicken me tere kya khara pulao really with a beard like this chicken remember what i said the company is not nice leave Everyone prefer Magna's biryani. Magna special biryani, of course. Obviously, Magna biryani. Obviously, it's Magna biryani, is undoubtedly. Magna is a good place to come to if, like Rocky, you're food mad. Right from the start, where you have all these people queuing up and then looking at each other beedly because they don't want anybody to jump the queue, to the fact that if you leave a table free for even one second, you will find seven sets of bottoms on it, tucking into your food. To the fact that when once people come here, once they start eating, you can't get them to look up, you can't get them to chat, you can't do anything. The focus is on the food, and when you take your first bite of food here, you know exactly why. The spices which they use here is pretty good, and the taste is also tasty, spicy. Bangalore food is pretty spicy. I specially come to Magna Biryani for the boneless chicken biryani. <laughs> and that was definitely worth the wait. And the first thing that I'm going to start with is veg biryani. No. <laughs> I see a little child behind us. He's not going to be able to finish his biryani. I'm going to steal his biryani. Okay, fine, fine. I won't take half. He's looking very worried. Listen, in my experience, never take food from children. You'll end up paying a heavy price. Today's kids will smear the back of your head with chutneys if you do that. And speaking of chutneys. These are two billion chutneys that I want to introduce you to. This is the Gongura chutney. The famous childs of Andhra. And what is it? It's made with a Gongura leaf, hugely sour. Yeah. Spiced. Seems like there's some raw mango in there as well. Mm. Beautiful taste. This is a quintessential taste of Andhra. Salty, sour, spicy and ready to party. We got loads of other stuff. on the table and all of it is really the true taste of andhra in andhra pradesh because of the heat and the hot winds that come in over the ocean we will get dehydrated very easily so andhra food will typically be very spicy and pretty salty if you're not used to it and this is all of that They got this, so this is paneer, which I am loving. It will blow the top of your head, but leave a very happy place in your heart. <laughs> ah, you are. Wow. Such words have never before been spoken about the humble paneer. I want to introduce you to this as well. This is the ulava charu. It's thickened horse gram reduction with onions, curry leaves, and a whole bunch of spice, and it has a beautifully earthy taste. It is incredible. There is even an ulava charu biryani in Andhra Pradesh, made with the water from horse gram. Very unique in taste. It shows you the huge diversity of biryanis across just the southern part of our great country. Can you think of other biryanis from the south? Yes, I can tell you about the one I'm eating. It's delicious. It's hot. It's nice and spicy. It's got long grains of rice. It's got a salon on top, and it's got dahi. that i'm eating it with wonderful and if you step out of hyderabad into the area of yes who's there salan salan who salan no friend i can't wait for you to open the door anymore i'm gone thank you that was again another useful contribution by dr sharma about the wonderfulness of the food thank you sir you're so kind um the other biryani we're talking about is the andhra style biryani just wait one second i'll be back <laughs> Andhra style biryani. Mm. A lot on spice. The meat is roasted and fried separately, and then it's added to the biryani. Done really well. 
There are several other biryanis. I will tell you more about them. One second. You will get used to this. Now we come back to the Mysore biryani. Very special. If you look at this biryani closely, you'll see grains of different color. The Mysore biryani, also known as the Pulao, is a unified yellow gentle color. The other one is telling about the Arakal biryani. Comes from Kerala, wonderfully done, preferably with clam or fish cooked with dum. And I could keep doing this till night falls. This food is not going to allow me, so please excuse me. So, the young men that set this place up, they felt really bad for vegetarians and they only get veg biryani. So, they came up with this really nice paneer version of the biryani. Here at Meghna on Residency Road, Mansoor, Ramesh and Vikash will vouch that ever since they started this establishment in 2006, the boneless chicken biryani is the most popular item on their menu. It's like boneless chicken that we get here. Yeah. I like basically the Hyderabadi boneless biryani. So I always obviously come here during the Sundays. When you have that biryani craving and you really need to get to it, I know exactly how you feel. And here at Meghna, you can really satisfy that itch like both hands. Cut! Cut!